Now imagine, you're banished from your country of birth forever and you can never return. This happened to a very, very famous K-pop star from the late 1990s to the early 2000s, whose name is Lee Sung Jun, Jun, also known as Steve Yu, was extremely popular not only in South Korea, but even people in America knew him. Should I even heard of him? I know we got some pump it up players out there, so you, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, this guy was big. I mean, this guy was really big. Like, he was popular in South Korea. Like, he was the man. He was known for his dance moves, his good looks, his nice body, as well as he was a pretty cool guy overall. So it was finally time for him to do his mandatory South Korean military service for two years. So upon the time of his draft, he became a US citizen, thus allowing him to not have to go and serve in the Korean military. And South Koreans were infuriated. Military service is mandatory for all men in South Korea. And yet you had a K-pop star who was able to get a different citizenship and avoid service altogether. So yeah, many people were very upset at this. And as a result, the South Korean government, well, banished him from South Korea. <laughs> Even though he was a South Korean citizen, born in Seoul, he was not able to come back to his home. So now you're wondering, well, what has Steve Yu been doing ever since he's been kicked out of South Korea? Well, he's been living in Beijing, China. Ironically, he's been pretty popular in China. He's been in TV dramas, have done performances, and he's been in a Jackie Chan movie. And while he's been in China, of course, he's been trying and fighting to come back to South Korea legally. So in 2017, the Seoul High Court basically ruled that you're not coming back. And you might as well give up because this case is not gonna be appealed anymore. But in 2019, the South Korean Supreme Court said that the Seoul High Court had to reopen the case. And on Friday, November 15th, the South Korean Appeals Court ruled in the singer's favor, thus now the Korean American Steve Yu can now come back to South Korea. However, those rulings were overturned by the Supreme Court. The judges said that it was unlawful for the Consulate General to turn down Yu's visa request without any judgment simply on the grounds of the entry ban issued in 2002. I do not believe that he can actually live in South Korea, but as of now, he is able to visit. According to the Korean Times, Steve Yu said that he wants to really contribute to the society, as well as he really wants to have his case heard and, and really kind of speak to the public about what happened and, and why he did it. Now, as an American, I know that my opinion doesn't really matter because, well, I'm not South Korean, uh, but it seems like he's pretty sincere. Now, granted, again, I didn't have to serve in the military. I was not drafted, so my understanding of most Korean sentiments is really non-existent. But I can imagine people are still pretty upset at this ruling. Matter of fact, they're not pretty upset. They're probably are pretty ticked. I mean, and of course, I'm not making an excuse for him dodging the military, you know, just because he feels sorry. But I do think that maybe his story is worth hearing. For him to have peace of mind, as well as even the South Korean public to also have that peace of mind and just wanting to know why he did what he did. To be, to be honest, when I put myself in Steve Yu's shoes, if I was kicked out of America for 17 years, and not me leaving America willingly for 17 years, but actually kicked out the country for 17 years, knowing that I couldn't go back or step foot on the land or I'd probably get arrested, you know, I, I would feel terrible. I'll feel pretty bad, and, and again, like I said earlier, not making an excuse, but at the same time, I can imagine how hard it has to be because I'm sure he has still has family here. I'm pretty sure also he has friends here as well as, I mean, this is his birth country. And so to be told that you cannot step foot on the land that you call your motherland, that's gotta hit hard. But I gotta say, I think Steve feels pretty good considering, you know, he's coming back to South Korea because he just launched a YouTube channel. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> And that dude already got more subs than I do. Bruh. 
Also, granted, he is a K-pop star, so. Again, these opinions are mine alone. Again, not as a South Korean, my opinions may differ from those who are Korean, uh, but that's all good. But what I do wanna know is what do you guys think? What are your opinions? For those who are foreign, what do you think about this case? You know, considering that I remember at one time we also had the draft in America with the Vietnam War, right? And so people were drafted, some people did run and there were consequences for running. So, I mean, what do you guys think about this? Do you think he should be allowed back in the country? Do you think that he should stay out forever because he committed a crime against the country? What do you think? For those who are Korean, I wanna hear your thoughts. What do you, what do you think about this? Um, Again, my opinion, it doesn't really matter, but I do wanna know yours because again, this is your land. You know, I normally don't talk about current events within my content, but if you guys like it, let's keep it going. So let me know again down in the comments below. And if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe because we will have more content coming out. But until the next video, you guys make sure you be cool. Peace. Good.